Today I feel despondent. Do not listen on if your conscience is easily offended. Defensiveness, it's ugly. You see, we managed to avoid a plebiscite so we could protect the rights and mental health of queers, which is a beautiful thing. Yet I can't help but think this was all a ruse to keep us occupied again. Eyes away from those other humans brutally sidelined. Manus, Naru, holding cells for sisters and brothers who are living in a hell unimaginable. Children offered longer showers if they agree to show their naked bodies to men in positions of power. Women raped, impregnated by those meant to be their protectors. People murdered for seeking protection. Lips sewed together in protest, but no one's listening. Again, boredom. Hopelessness stretches endless to break the spirits of those who've already seen firsthand the workings of madmen intent on breaking their humanity. We finished the job for them. We're talking about people who smell the scent of fresh bread and get flashbacks of flesh shed from barely connected bones thrown from bodies biting the dust of your car fumes. Who can't view this through the prism of compassion? The media act as assassins for the government, sending out messages to destroy their stories of survival. More than the victims they're depicted as, or new age convicts whose greatest crime is surviving war. Leaking boats, corruption at every turn, death turning up on our shores only to be deported to islands. Paradise for the whites, paralyzing for those denied the right to life. To live. So here, Champagne socialists, keyboard warriors, your feeble attempts at justice are just that feeble. These people, true soldiers, need us to dismantle their cages. Our rage is the only thing to enable this change to happen. How can we make it happen? How? Help me turn this despondency into action. Maybe we need to get on boats. Sail to the islands, physically demand the release of every child, woman and man, until then, until then, we are complicit in the torture of the innocent, every Australian is complicit in the torture of the innocent. Every Australian is complicit in the torture of the innocent. Every Australian is complicit in the torture of the innocent. Every Australian is complicit in the torture of the innocent. That's you and me, my friend. That's you and me.